Well, can't even enjoy the bye week, bro. Um, you know, we had very little chance of beating Houston as it was next week. But after this move, after this news, any chance we had of winning that game just went out the fucking window. Gardner Minshew's injury to his hand is going to fucking keep him out next week. Lovely. Fucking lovely. Like I said, any chance we had of beating Houston just went out the fucking window because now we get to choose between Mike Glennon and goddamn Jake Lutton. There's a pair of winners. And I know some stupid-ass Jags fans are like, oh, we get to see what Lutton do. He actually has the norm. Jake Lutton ain't shit. There's a reason this motherfucker was picked in the sixth round. He, You rarely, rarely find quarterbacks that play even as good as Minshew in the sixth round. We ain't winning shit. And to be honest, dude, what are, and like I said, I don't think it was going to make a difference regardless because it don't matter if we have fucking Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. We are not winning shit with this garbage-ass defense. And that's just a fact. So... Like I said, the rate we're going, we're going to be lucky to win another game this year. We ain't winning shit. Oh, and speaking of not winning shit, um, Trashville fans, because I know you're probably going to comment with, with laughter on this, let me remind you dumbasses of something. You got blown out by the Cincinnati Bengals, who didn't even have Joe Mixon. Fuck, at least when we played them, it was a game. At least when we played them, Joe Mixon went ape shit. You couldn't even beat the fucking Bengals. And you're supposed to be Super Bowl contenders? I told you stupid bitches that, just co that you're not as invincible as you think you are. You're not a Super Bowl contender. You're going to be lucky to fucking win the division because guess who's getting hot and you play them in two weeks? Indy. Because you're not going to beat Chicago. Indy will probably win next week. I don't even know who they play, but they'll probably win next week. And then they're probably going to beat your ass. Your collapse is imminent. I done to I told you. The difference between teams like Kansas City, Baltimore, and P Pittsburgh, and you guys, those teams beat the shit out of cupcake teams. Those teams don't come down to the wire with teams like us and the fucking Vikings. Those teams don't... F oh, and the Texans, too. Forgot about them. Those teams don't fucking lose to garbage-ass teams like the Bengals. You're not fucking there yet and you probably never will be and honestly too what are you gonna say to me at this point that's gonna make me feel any worse about the season i know this team sucks i know we're probably not winning another game this year but you know what i've done accepted that and i already know that at least it's gonna get most of our coaching staff fired and we got the highest number of cap to work with in the offseason next year and we got we're probably gonna end up with either trey lance trevor lawrence or fucking justin fields Hopefully one of those three is good, so we'll have, probably have a franchise quarterback. And we got enough cap space to fit and draft capital to fix this shithole once we get new personnel in here. And you know what you're going to do? You're going to probably fuck the division up. You're definitely going to fuck going to the Super Bowl up. So I'm going to just sit back and laugh at you because I didn't have any expectations this year. You dumbasses did like every other year. But anyway, you're and you're lucky I'm not making a separate video to fucking clown you. But anyway... Now that we got that, now that we got that out of the way, yeah, we're we're fucked next week against Houston. So, Stephen Rose, if you're watching this, I hope you enjoy that fucking pie I'm gonna get in my face because we ain't winning a goddamn th thing with Jake Lutton or Mike Glennon. So, that's all I got, bro. I'm out.